Hey plant fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is not my jungle. This is David's jungle. Is this your jungle? Do you call this a jungle? No, but I plant fam. No, <laughs> I plant fam. Uh, Hi. Okay. And this is David's cat. <laughs> so <laughs> today is, we literally just went over this, Wednesday, June 30th and starting a new vlog for July. So, hi. He's putting up a shelf. So I figured maybe I'd show you guys a little bit of that and then the plants that we style up there. I have some repotting to do and I figured maybe I'll show you some of his plants while we're here too, maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna definitely show them your Hoya over there. It's got like seven peduncles that are all blooming at the same time. So that's it for right now. Well, I'm trying to figure this stuff out. Right, see how <laughs> the little paw. <laughs> Is it level? Really? Really? Your cactus is blooming over here. Have you seen it? Yes, that one. That's the one. Yeah. Cute little Cebu blue. This little babe have the same one. I feel like you need to give a tour of your plants. It's not right if I do it, but I did repot this one, so I feel like I can, and it's stunning. La Jolla Chelsea in my favorite pot. I have like three of these. <laughs> do you need my help? <laughs> do you want me to move the dishikia? No. <laughs> You're so clever. No. Like, are you sure you don't want me to hold it? No, actually I got this. Okay. You do you, boo. I'm gonna do me, boo. Mm -hmm. See? I had it. That's <laughs> <laughs> enough to rain a little, get it like even steamier. And look at all the pretty outdoor stuff. The begonias. I love outdoor begonias. See, these are the ones I was talking about. I think they're called like. Tubers. Outdoor begonia. I swear I thought you said Al Gore begonia. Al Gore begonia. This is Al Gore's begonias, and here's his caladium. <laughs>
well, nothing exciting. On to the next thing. Screws. You need some screws. Oh, there's a cute little baby fair plate in there. Red Maranta. Okay. Where does one get screws? In the screw aisle. That's where you get screwed. <laughs> Can you ever just not say something inappropriate that I have to take out? Be happy. Super cute. Right? Yes. A couple little things. Yes. We gotta open up that box and uh, whatever you put in there is gonna fry. Good thing it's open at the top. It gives them a little bit of shade here and there. I mean, there's still plenty of light coming through. And in the afternoon when the sun's out over there, because this is west, we're facing kind of west, 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 southwest, west. <laughs> it's like mostly west. But it's also slightly south. West, west. But it's too far to be west, west southwest. southwest. It's between west and west, southwest, so it's west, west, southwest, west. West, west, south, southwest? Yeah, let's put stuff up there. It's westish. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Alright. Okay. What do we do now? You can put stuff up there. <laughs> okay, now we're done. <laughs> The real question is if you had to pick a favorite house plant. No. All right, well, I'm still gonna show them your peduncles. This is my favorite. Current favorite. Do you have a current favorite? My plants? Yeah. I mean, Two, that green is almost always my favorite. Three. I mean, this one's cute too. You have your little, like, accidental heart shaped leaves back here. I do like those, yes. And, like, a ton of peduncles. Look, another one. They're all active too. It's crazy. I mean, it's hard to not love this plant. Peperomia incana. It's, uh, yeah, it's Felted just, peperomia. It's so neat. Mine it's comes so from a cutting pleasant. from this plant. It's Look at the little baby leaves. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Super cute. Your queen, you said, is your favorite. It's hard to see. It's backlit. I mean, it's just but nice. this is a plant. This was your first Hoya, right? Uh, it was my first Hoya. Oh yeah. I uh, had to force you to get it. You did. Air plants are in the box to put yeah, in there. We, we should gotta, open the box. Gotta, the gotta box. clean off the table so we can open the box. This one's my favorite. I'm jealous. Oh my god, it's so cute. Okay, so Hi. we got a box from got, Trelly. You told me you wanted me to tell them. So then tell them. We got a box from Trelly. <laughs> <laughs> It's like so one of those cool trellis gonna, things. I'm like super it. excited. Yeah, we're gonna open it and check and it out. And there's like other stuff in here too, so we're gonna check that out. Yeah, you got one of the early bird gift things. Give me go. The other day I talked to a manager, now I'm an early bird. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure that makes you old. Old oh, dang. <laughs> anyway, right, let's see what this one looks like because it's a different one than mine, yeah? What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> Okay, I'm glad that I get to unbox yours. Oh look, you got a cute little thing that I didn't get because mine was... Thank you for shopping small. Yeah. Oh, it's really cute. Super cute. Care instructions. Clean with damp cloth. Reseal with lacquer if needed. Gotcha. Hmm. Wearing darkening is natural. If using wall tape, I'm good with it. Okay. Yeah, I no, test the good. tape on the wall to make sure it does not damage the wall. That's it fine. does not damage the wall. I tested it out for them. Right. And they have a cute little installation. Hey, look, it's me. When I installed it, no? That's I'm kidding. Good. I'm just That's joking. <laughs> they didn't use me. Also, you did not wear <laughs> Congratulations that on being one of the first few customers to get our new products. Ooh, look at me go. You get a free mini stick trellis and a couple of air plants with your purchase. Yeah. Okay, air plant care. Water I, them okay. and put them upside down to dry for two to three hours before putting the plants on display. When you get them here, make sure you wet your plants. Yeah. Okay. Wet your air plants. Oh my God, look at it. The little what? baby one. All right, that's super We're going to repot something and then stick it in there. We got to find something to stick it in there. Yeah. Okay. Stick it in there. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Maybe these are the extra stickies. Did they include extra stickies? They did. Extra stickies. So if you guys remember my video, I let them know that they should include extra stickies. So I'm glad that they did. And then here's the hook they were talking oh, about. Oh, that like goes into the wall. Picture hanging hook. Yep. 
So that one wasn't in my box, but that does come with it as well. Oop, those are your air plants. I'll let you open those. Oh, it's very exciting. And this is the Monstrella. I think this one might be around 27 inches tall as well. Mm-hmm. Oh. And that's the Monstrella. You can also get these laser engraved, which I didn't know, for like $5 extra. So these make a really cute gift. And this is where all the stickies right. are. So it so. hangs away from the wall by about an inch or so. Yeah, yep. so you have room. And then this is where you would hang it. Comes with a, a better hook than what mine has, for sure. Right. Mine was a tester product. Okay, cute, 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 cute. Gotta put them in your kitties. Oh my gosh, there you go. Those are, oh look, that's the same little weirdo that I just bought recently. Yeah, cute. Spiky ball weirdo. Very cute. Perfect, they're gonna look good Super in the Super cute, yes. Go see how they look. You need the one with crazy hair for that guy, Yellen. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> I love them. We got these at the little plant shop. I yeah, haven't taken you guys there. Like a mohawk. Yeah, but I want to. Yes. <laughs> this makes him look sadder. Oh no. Look at how sad. He doesn't look sad. He looks a little more grumpy. Like. Mm. Yeah, your hair's okay. Like buddy. I'm over you right now. <laughs> Where am I gonna put you? Where am I gonna put you? In here. In that stand, that shelf over there. Yes. So oh, yeah. This can't. So this needs to be down. Yeah, yeah. So maybe put the Cebu up there and the Syndapsis the down there. Down. Yeah, I'm gonna probably move those. I know. Just it's fine. but it, it looks good. No, but I'll probably just move the tray to Scantia. Swap yeah. those two out. But otherwise it's crunchy. I can't, I, super I can't cute. With this thing. I have such a hard time with this plant. They still look so pretty when they're dead. That's, that, that's so emo. Wait, no, they do when they're, they're yellow. I'm not the only person who says that the dead leaves are pretty. <laughs> Shut up. It, you did this weird thing here I where we thought it. it was variegation. Yeah, it was strange. It's just but it's damage. weird because it's like textured. So, And then there's no, there's no other variegation on it. She looks thirsty. String of hearts. It's really long. It's still going. <laughs> it's really, really long. And really, really beautiful. And the Euphorbia chocolate drop. It looks like tentacles coming out of this pot. I can't even see it from here. Your raffidophora is growing up all the way up there. It just needs a new piece of wood. But honestly, that dirt is nasty yeah, it that is. it's in anyway. It keeps growing mushrooms. I put sand on the top. And then this guy, if you guys remember when we picked up the, what was it called? Face plant? The face pot. Face pot. Yeah. I thought it was called face, face plant. Pot plant. No, we don't have any of those. So I think of this little mini Monstrella. Trellis should go in here with this little Hoya macrophylla. <laughs> Hoya Hoya, what do you guys think? Because then I'll have something to climb on. And Hoyas like to vine. It actually encourages more growth. I think it looks really cute. What do you think? Also, you can get 10% off when you use code Jacqueline Jungle all of these products. And the sun comes through. Oh my god, it's so cute. Yeah. You have to leave that there. Yeah. It's necessary. And it's not too heavy. On the other side. No, no, no. You're going to need another one of those little trellises now right. for the other side. All right. Like in a different one. They have cac the cactus one is cute. I think you would like the cactus one. Well, let's put some propagations up Super there. Super cute. Tell them what's in there. Plants. Alright, so whatever is was okay with the neon and the exotica and too much brazil so we had to put no a bunch of brazil thing. in there's a lot of brazil over there so <laughs> there's plenty to go everywhere else 
The Mikan's was looking pretty wonky with the little leaves, so hopefully starts something kind of cool. I like that little. That's funny. And my queen. I need She's to make so more queen. Yeah. And some uh, dashidia. Super cute. Yeah, yeah. I really like the way your shelf turned out. I do too. It's nice. What are we going to put in here? I don't know. The cat. <laughs> I don't think she would like that. <laughs> no okay, so now we're going to repot some plants, right? Yeah. Okay. If not, um, that's it for today, unless I can get him to like show you some of his plants. But if you guys want, like a full-on legit tour of his plants let me know in the comments below and we will make that happen even if he doesn't want to we'll do it anyway okay oh, it's a madagascar, the jewel. madagascar jewel euphorbia right which is a really weird plant this is one of the first ones you got though, isn't it? I got this one at McNaughton's uh, last year, last it's summer. Really dusty. It's dusty, it needs to be clean. We're gonna take it out of the dirt and then give it a good rinse. Soil's too airy. What is that from baby? Too much perlite, that's just, that I don't, well, so what happens with this one is these little pods, Oh. they blast off like around six feet across, so you'll find this plant growing in other pots near it um, because it, the spores so just weird. release. Yeah, yeah. Super thirsty, so I need it in soil that is not so perlite -y. Yeah, this was when you had a bunch of perlite left over, yeah, and... I was like, I needed to get rid of it, so I threw it all in. Threw it all in there. <laughs> in retrospect, not, was not smart. No. This is the pot I want to put it in. Yes. It's super sappy because of the whole euphorbia. It's a euphorbia. That's a lot of perlite. It's too much. I made a mistake. <laughs> it's like mostly perlite. No I wonder was, why it's thirsty. I was not the best plant parent when I did this one. I want to help. It's satisfying. Tickle. Tickle them roots. Tickle, tickle. Tee hee. Oh my goodness. That's a big root ball. You're a big root. She's a chonk. She's a chonk. These <laughs> roots a, are really dry. These whatever hunks. You see how they're kind of like turning brown? Yeah, yeah. That's not good. No, it needs to be happier. They're really dry. We're working on it. I would just give her like a nice shower. Oh, okay. Clean her off. Let's go oh my god, they're the <laughs> Let's go take a bath. <laughs> what is it though? Like, is it a baby plant or is it a weed? I think it's a weed. I put some dirt in there for you. Yeah. Out of all of my plants, I think this one, when you water it, perks up the fastest. Yeah. Like, it'll look really sad, and then you give it water, and an hour later, it's like, no, fine. I like her in this pot. Yeah, yeah. She didn't look good. I like sitting down and watching you repot for a change. <laughs> <It's pretty good. laughs> this is work. It is a lot of work. Why do you think I'm like tired? Did all the planty chores today. Yeah. Do I need to water this? Yeah, I thought you did already. No, I didn't. Oh. Yeah, you need to water it. No Alright fam, so that's it for today. Right? Hi. We're done with our plant chores. Totally done with the plant chores. So Mercifully. we'll uh, see you next time. Mm -hmm. I don't know when. But we will see you again, or at least I will. Whatever. <laughs> we are taking a trip to Tennessee next, next week, Road right? Tripping. Next weekend. Um, I don't know what day it is. Fine. Looks like a hot mess. So I'll film a little bit of that, but maybe I'll see you before then. So, okay. Bye for now. We did a good shit, but her eyes are so nice and clear now. She's so cute. She's a little shy. She's camera shy. She's like, no, don't. <laughs> She's getting kind of big. Are you gonna go hide? Okay. <laughs> okay, just go down there. <laughs> it's fine. She's just so cute. Yeah, she just hangs. She just chills. Nope. I heard something about a chicken lady. Okay, fam. So today is my cat is so cute. Why are you so cute? You're so distracting. Stop it. I'm gonna have to show you guys what he looks like right now. I um yeah, today is Monday, July 5th. So I've got some plant mail that I'm eager to open <laughs> because it's 
been in the mail for a while so yeah but i need to show you how cute my cat is really quickly first what's the matter you pooped you're so tired from life right he digs himself under the blanket and he sleeps under there and he just came out and this is what i'm looking at you okay bubble up he had an asthma attack before and had to shove his medicine down his throat so he's not happy but he's okay it's been a long morning we're sitting in the spare bedroom i've got my greenhouse over here it's a mess this is not my favorite background but i just needed somewhere where i can sit down and open this box with you guys because i didn't know it was coming today i have been hard at work all morning battling thrips and mealy bugs and possibly even some scale there was some spider mites in there at one point too so like we've just got all the bugs all of them and it's been fun and frustrating because i've been on top of taking care of my plants more than ever because i've been home a lot and i just don't i don't get it i don't know where they came from it took me a while to notice it but I am keeping an eye on it, so um, we're trying all the things, and hopefully no more of my plants are sacrificed <laughs> to the thrips. I feel like it literally took Mad and Sony Eye like overnight, and I've been growing that plant for like almost two years, and I'm so proud of it, and it's on a pole, and it's growing, it's got mid-rib fenestrations, and now it's got like two leaves, so... Anyway, so today I have a package from Cellar Door Plants. You would have seen me unbox a plant from them on my Instagram. I posted it on this channel as well. Just a little short video, which was literally just the IGTV video that I threw up here for those of you who aren't on Instagram so that you could check it out. So... I wanted to get another plant from them and do a YouTube unboxing, even though this isn't how I planned it, because I actually thought this was coming tomorrow. Today is Monday, July 5th, so it's a holiday. I didn't think that it would get here, so I wasn't prepared for it when it did. It shipped a week ago, so I'm a little bit worried because the plant that's in here is a delicate one so I talked to them already they said you know if there's anything wrong with the plant just to let them know send them a photo and they'll replace it but that is part of plant mail I guess so I was gonna film this as like a full-on different video but that's not happening today so you're just getting an unboxing all right all right <sighs> sweet baby Jesus please don't be dead I've wanted this plant for a while and I've been very hesitant to get it because it's finicky. Like it's really, really one of those plants that people have a hard time with and bugs love it. So I'm really excited to be bringing it into my space. <laughs> it's good. It's really good. So let's see what it looks like. Oh my goodness, it looks good. Okay, hold on. So exciting, it doesn't look dead, it looks a little squished, but not dead. So this is the Alocasia Fry Deck, and it's beautiful. Oh wow, you're stunning. So this is packed pretty well, which is something that I like about this company. They definitely put a lot of care into packaging their plants. I really didn't want to be a hot mess when I opened this, but it's fine. So look at it. It's so pretty. All right. So it's actually in pretty good shape. I mean, the leaves are like wrinkled and whatever, but hopefully they'll bounce back. There's actually two separate plants in this pot. So that's exciting. They look really healthy, so I'm definitely not going to be a new growth point coming in right here. That's exciting, you guys. Uh, I think I paid like 34 for this, which is not bad at all. I was very, very worried 
that it was going to come looking sad as hell. So I'm glad that it has been. I don't really have anything else to say. I mean, this company offers a really nice variety of plants shipped to your door, packaged nicely, and if you have any issues within the first 30 days, they're very responsive and they will work with you to figure it out. I have a discount code for you guys that I'll leave in the description box. I think it's for 10% off and the link I think that if you shop through the link, the discount will automatically apply, but if not, you just enter the code at checkout. And there's supposed to be some stickers that I ordered, but I don't see them. Kind of a bummer, because I really wanted to show you guys those. They're cute. Maybe it's coming in a different package. So I'm going to go and... Um, I will see you guys soon because I'm taking a little road trip in a couple of days and we're going to try and stop at some plant shops on the way and show you guys if we find anything good. So I will see you then. Bye. Show you this a little bit better. So these are extremely toxic. For animals so definitely going to be keeping this one out of his reach probably gonna throw it in the greenhouse I don't know even where to quarantine it right now because I have so many plants <laughs> in the bathroom where I would normally quarantine that are being treated for thrips right now so this is my alocasia fry deck and it's super cute and it's soft and velvety and I've actually never seen this in person before so I'm pleased with how nice it is. Are you pleased with how nice it is? You can't eat that one. No, you can't. She's like, where are you? I'm like, I honestly, I don't know. Somewhere in Pennsylvania. Coleus that I always like. It's cool, isn't it cool looking? They put them outside. They're probably cheaper because they're not close to farms. Yeah, fourteen ninety eight. Mm, I'm not used to seeing them out here.
I haven't vlogged at all, but um, we're in Roanoke. Virginia? Right. Virginia. Because there's a sign that says Roanoke, yes. so that's how I know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Look, it just started recording on its own. Hey, fam. Hi. Today is Saturday, July 10th. Yes. And we're somewhere in Virginia. I think my phone's sure. like Bristol on it. Okay. Um, I don't know. We have to go to the bathroom, basically. So we stopped at a Lowe's. And I mean, like, I'm not going to not look at the plants. Well, of course. So, and I feel like I've given you zero context as to what's going on right now. So we're on our way to Tennessee we're stopping to pee. <laughs> like, I don't know. We're going to look at plants. It's about as much context Right? As the last needs. one we it's were fine. in Pennsylvania somewhere, honestly. Right. But I was surprised by yeah, was, there was their nice plants. One. So now I'm just kind of curious what goes on in Virginia. Because I was just talking to a subscriber and she was like, there's nothing in Virginia. So. Oh. Well, Where there's a out? bathroom. Yeah, yeah. I have to pee. All Let's right, go so do that. What? Where are they? Spider plants? Spider? I don't know, they look like it, they but like it's warm. I don't, yeah, I don't Fentilines. know. Chlorophytum is the botanical name. Yeah, but they have such a better like selection outside usually because it's warmer. They yeah, like echinacea. These bees and a wasp. Scoot up. They actually keep plants out here. Although they've been keeping them outside by you and these are really nice though. They look nice. 30 bucks for some fiddles. Dyfenbachias, $12.98. Snake plants. Just a bunch of succulents. Oh, it's nice. Those are cute hanging pots. I haven't seen these yet. They're nice. Marble Queen. Philodendron. Cute. These are cute. <laughs> they look healthy. $16.98. Little fiddle hiding back there. $13.98 for golden pothos. Some ZZs. $13.98. These are cute little baby pops. Fourteen ninety-eight. Just a little marble queen. It's not a bad price. Ooh, these are nice. These look like they're from Costa Farms, so they're nineteen ninety-eight. Get this. Oh my god, that thing is massive. Look at this golden focus. This is huge, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's stunning. <clears throat> if I had space for that, yeah, I would buy that. Yeah, but that's that's, yeah, that's a beautiful that's a plant right there. There's some philodendrons over here. Look like they have something on it. I don't know. Ever since the thrips, I'm like, I'm freaked out. I check everything on the leaves like a crazy person. Some creepy bromeliads here for 10 bucks. They're so weird looking. Like, look at it. It's so weird looking. Some ravens, some birkins, the usual stuff. I can't get over this though. This is beautiful. You're gonna have to hang that back up 
for me. I took it down from a, from like all the way in there. Thank you. It doesn't look like this in New York. Not even in Connecticut, honestly. It's a little bit cleaner. Some strings of things. Elephant bush. I always murder those. Some cute little African violets. I don't see any. Oh, this one's variegated. Look, I found one. It's variegated. Oh, look at that one. Oh, cute. <clears throat> it is cute. I don't see any more. I think it's just that one. Hmm? Hmm. It's hard to tell. No, that one's pretty though. I like it. It's probably like four or five dollars too. Yeah, four dollars. Super cute. Just making sure I didn't miss one. I like the purple flowers. I never used to like African violets. I think that happens though. Like as you like keep getting more and more plants, you get more interested in like. Well, you said the same thing about the bananas. Right. Well, I'll definitely never buy another one of these. You're gonna say the same thing about spider plants. And... No, no. Oh, but this. This is a cool. Oh my gosh! Can you just assist the person in the threading area, please? Yeah, the other one is really beautiful. Look at this begonia. I've never seen one like this. With like that. Or maybe this is similar to the one you showed me in the greenhouse that one time that had like the little spots on it. That was cute. Hmm. Look at it, it's adorable. But they changed the prices. These are smaller. Hmm. For the price that they used to be for like a bigger one. And now the bigger one. Is six ninety eight, or they made a bigger one hmm. that's six ninety eight. Because I feel like they used to be four ounces. No, not four ounces. Four inch. Whatever. You know what? They raised the prices. That's all I know. Cute little Daphnebachia. But they are making like different sizes, so they have these like smaller hanging baskets now too for thirteen ninety eight. Because the big ones went up to nineteen ninety eight. They used to be like sixteen ninety eight, or even eighteen ninety eight sometimes, depending. I always gotta squish these. Yeah, they all look a little Here's squishy. Your yeah, but these ones actually look pretty good. Mm. Pretty healthy. This one's weird. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Not the healthiest pause. I have um, some succulent leaves coming from the next gardener that I'm going to try and propagate. So I don't know what they're sending me. They're just going to send me a bunch of succulent leaves. So hopefully I'll get something interesting. A bunch of floor plants here. These are pretty. Already potted. $17.98. This is the one I keep saying is good for you because like you can't kill this thing. What will happen is you'll just get like brown tips, but I just cut them off because like I don't care. Like these. Yeah, like I literally will just trim them right off. Mm. I'm laughing now that I don't neglect my <laughs> Dracaena anymore that it'll probably die. <laughs> <laughs> Little beast lilies for $9. That's a good price. These Syngonians are pretty too. Probably the same price, yeah, $8.98. I can't, you know what, I can't keep these alive, but my Albo variegated one is doing well in water. So I think that if I'm gonna try semi-hydro at any point in time, it's gonna be with that plant. Yeah. Cause I always kill them cause I don't water them enough. They need all the water. Some sad little philodendron. Oh, this Stiefenbachia is cool if it wasn't so sad looking. It has like spots on it. You see it? $14.98. I can't have these because the cat will definitely eat it. It's like he'll know that that one specifically will make his mouth go numb if he eats it. These fiddles are the same prices outside. 
Yeah, that philodendron in there is beautiful. Special assistance needed at the paint desk. <laughs> She's gonna say it seven more times. $14.98, that's not a bad price if this was looking a little happier. There's some good, good leaves in here. It's a lot of plant. But this one, this leaf, that's big. Looks sad though. All right. Oh my god, paint desk. <laughs> this time she just went with paint desk. <laughs> this is cute. All right, I don't think there's anything else going on. I'm excited, yeah. I just finally found one. Yeah, exactly. Some variegated jade in here oh, that's looking nice. cute. Yeah. Your variegated jade plant? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty. I just have a weird thing with jade plants. I tend to kill them. I have one that's like kind of an heirloom plant, I guess, because it comes from my grandma's. Well, it comes from my mom's plant. That comes from my grandma's plant. Bunch of weird little cacti. More succulents. And that's it. Can I see it? Look at that one. It's cute. So, I don't know how to take care of one of these things. <laughs> But we'll figure it out. It's like really clean and neat in here. This is weird. Yes. Where's the bathroom? Hey plant fam. Today is Monday, July 12th and we're in, where are we? Tennessee. Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Willow Ridge Garden Center. There we go. I'm yeah. tired. <laughs> it's fine. Um, yeah, so we're going to check out their houseplants and then we're going to go to Home Depot. Obviously. And I'm curious about Kroger because I've never been to one and I feel like I've seen you guys find stuff there before. And I'm like, I don't even know what Kroger is. So when I saw it, I was like, hmm, hmm. plants. And apparently hmm. it's just a supermarket. Yeah. So they should have a floral section so yeah let's go check this place out this is cute it yeah. is super freaking cute i honestly didn't know what like the house plant market would be here but i'm curious to find out okay. perennials back there i love that their succulents are outside and everything <laughs> hibiscus they're so pretty Ooh. Don't land on me, homie. They're pretty cool. Alright, let's see what they have. Pickles. <laughs> Some fire sticks. Ooh. Little baby African violet. Some Aglionimas, $22.99. I've never seen it bloom before, look. See, I feel like most aeroid blooms have the same type of shape to it. I guess that's what makes them similar. Turniscantia. Pinstripe Calathea up there. $25.99. These are cute pods. I like these. Do they sell them? Neon Pothos. Very cute. This is cute too. It's like a wicker pole. <laughs> the Syngonium, big philodendron down there. The plants we don't do over here. <laughs> yeah, that's a big anthurium. There's just so many flowers on it right now. Some Diphenbachia, no, that's an Aglionema, Silver Bay. I get them confused because it looks like a Diphenbachia. These are some seriously cute pots. 
Look at how cute these pots are. Mm -hmm. Has drainage and little feet. That's like a me pot. It's a snake plant. It's like a little baby. Baby mm -hmm. moonshine. Super cute. 10 bucks. It's a good price. Monstera's down here. Mm, $25.99. Oh my gosh, these are huge. What do they call them? Something fingers. Mm, they're huge. Yeah, I'm not used to seeing them so thick like this. Philodendron Brazil. Baby terrarium plants. No, I don't care about the little snake plants. They freak me out. Spider plants, whatever. I do that all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. They're so cute when they're little. Oh my god. It's a baby staghorn fern for $4. That's super cute. Oh yeah. Always gotta go straight for the Hoya. Oh yeah. 50 bucks. I mean, it's really pretty and healthy. Some peace lilies. It looks like it's in like the Costa Farms container though. <laughs> Adansonia is up there. Hopefully you can't hear the Halsey song because then I'm gonna have to take this off. <laughs> Get copyrighted. $40 for this Exotica isn't bad. Look at it, it's huge. These are, these are cool. Yeah, oh that's good, the Adansonia. Well these are cute. Mm -hmm. 20 bucks. They're solar powered. I was gonna say that would be really cute for inside. I can't find anything mm -hmm. that I like. Got some little baby fiddles down there. I don't know how much they are. But they cute. Little baby Brazils. Ten bucks. They're definitely healthier than the Home Depot ones. I like this Syngonium. I had one for a while before I murdered it. $15.99. Oh, more exotica. Right? <laughs> That is really cute. $40. Bunch more princess over here. $12.99. I don't know what this one is. Some sort of ivy, or is that also a fern? Holly fern. Oh, it's cute. I don't usually see those. Some little baby African violets. None of them are variegated though, and I guess I'm like a African violet snob now, and I just want variegated ones. The little pink flowers are cute though. Little orchids. 20 bucks. How much are these? Oh my god, $4. I think we covered everything. There's Audrey's. Some philodendrons down here. Prince of Orange for 10 bucks. Little baby Audrey's. 35. The little one is $10 for a little baby Audrey. 
It's a good price. Hmm. Oh wow. That's stunning. Yeah, and these leaves are huge. Yeah, yeah, 40 bucks. That's a good price for Swiss that. Cheese. I can get mine to actually not get eaten by thrips and climb up the pole. Then eventually the leaves will get that big. So, but yeah, I think that's it. They have a couple over here. Some big philodendrons for $40. This bird of paradise would be a lot happier in this climate, I'm sure, than it is in mine. <laughs> no, not that. Oh, there's the Fatsia japonica. Cute little variegated one. $35.99. <laughs> no, I got it. <laughs> It's adorable. <laughs> Can't even handle it. Well, they have some cute pots mm -hmm. for sure. This one was 15, so it's a little too much for me right now, but it's super cute. Because I, I need a bigger one, realistically, so. Mm -hmm. Some dahlias. These are my favorite. What are you doing? They got their house plants outside. Succulents. Bromeliads. Cute little anthuriums. Ravens, some nice Birkins, some little fiddles, all for 20 bucks. Creepy <laughs> snake plants, $12.98. Oh, they just got watered. Some nice Dracenas, $14.98. Orchids over here, a bunch of peace lilies, spider plants. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch those. And I don't know what that is, ivy. Some bigger ones there for $24.98. What? Never seen one of those before? Yeah. Oh, this one's cute, chonky. I like the chonky one. It's a blue giant. I feel like it says you could put them outdoor and part them for four to six hours. <laughs> um, Aglionema. Yeah, Chinese evergreen. $27.98. Hey, that's a nice mixed pot for 30 bucks with the golden pothos and the corn plant, Dracaena. The peace lilies are $24.98. They're looking really happy and healthy for sure. Let's see what else they have. Okay, so Home Depot was cute. It was nice. I've never seen them all outdoors like that before. He got some fire sticks. <laughs> and now we're gonna go to Kroger, 
right? Mm -hmm. And they have a Starbucks in there, so even if they don't have plants, Obviously. they at least have Starbucks. We need to pick up some food anyway. And I forgot to show you guys my shirt. It says gloom where you're planted. <laughs> <laughs> With the, what are these, monkey cups that or something? That doesn't fit your personality at all. So this is the company Boardwalk. I think I had on a different shirt earlier in this vlog, but I can't remember, honestly, the, the, one the with floor fatale one. Anyway, right. I'll leave their information for you guys below. They're super cute and super cozy they and shirts. they're funny. Yeah. A lot of them are pretty sarcastic. They're definitely... Um, Nice vibe. Yeah. yeah. So, not all plant related stuff, but they do have a lot of planty shirts. So, yeah. That's it. Okay. We're going to go to Kroger. Yeah, let's do that. I just forgot to show you guys my shirt. So, <laughs> yeah, you're probably going to see me wearing them a lot because they're really cozy and I've been really lazy about <laughs> my wardrobe <laughs> this year. Even though we're like not in lockdown anymore, I'm just like, I don't want to wear clothes, like normal clothes. No. I've been you're... wearing sweatshorts and like oversized t-shirts. And it's like 200 degrees right now, so it just yeah. it's whatever. Yeah. yeah, but this is nice and light. I think these are 100% cotton, so they're nice and nice. light and cozy. So, okay, I'm gonna go now. Hey, <laughs> Kroger. They have plants outside, but they might also have a floral section inside. Oh no, look, they have a bunch of house plants back there. So let's look at the, they have succulents over here. Oh, this is. There's some big flapjacks. <laughs> $7.99. All right. Bunch of Dracaena. Some umbrella trees. $14.99. That's a really good price. It smells like citronella. Mm -hmm. It is. Stromanth. Right? Or is the, are these the ginger plants? You know, I don't know. What does it say on it? Ginger yeah, ginger. Variegated. I don't, I guess the root of it is like the ginger that you use? Or I don't know if it's a different type of ginger. Some Dyfenbachia. Some fiddles. Fiddly. A nice one. Nice Dyfenbachia. I don't know, are they all the same price? $14.99, yeah. For the line. This is the some type of palm. Fan palm, maybe? I don't know. Snake plants. Some ponytails back there. Is this is citronella again. They call it the mosquito plant. Well, people were laughing that you tried to smell <laughs> the true bi, and then I don't know strawberries and stuff over there. This one's cute. Mm, can't get it out. Oh, that's because it's not in a pot. <laughs> no, I was just looking at it. Yeah, it's not in a. It's not in a pot. Oh, yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. What? What is that? No. It's gotta be something else. Yeah, it's Crassula. It's <laughs> variegated Swayziness. <laughs> Swayze. There's some ferns. I don't know how much. $12.99. Kangaroo fern. <laughs> I've never seen one like that before. It's like it's gonna bloom. Don't you have one of these or do I have I have one too, no? Do I have one? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god, that one's funny. <laughs> this one looks like it's ready to spiral. Yeah, that's Echeveria. I like that one. That one is really funny looking. <laughs> it kind of looks like a... Like a what? <laughs> it 
They're three ninety nine. Like a yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, those are called topsy turvy because of the way they like fold in. Some fuzzies. They've got an orchid potted up with a bromeliad for some reason. There's more plants in here. Some more dracaena. Some more palms. Sink plant, fiddle. They have a Birkin. Oh, they have Costa Farms. Trending tropicals. This one's cute. Thanks for helping me grow. This is a cute pot. I like the one with the cacti on it. It's got a dead plant in it, but the pot is cute for 10 bucks. Bird of Paradise. There's a bunch over there. I walked right by too. Ooh, big. Ivy. Dogtail cactus. Sir. $12.99. They're $19.98 now in the big box stores. $12.99. Little freaking weirdo here for $10. I don't know what this is. Creeping fig, strawberry begonia. Oh my god, that's so cute! I love that. How much is that one? Ten dollars too. Should be on here, maybe. Ten bucks. Oh my god, I like it. I want it. I don't want the plant that's in it. No crispy plant. My mom has one of those already. Money trees. Yeah, I like this one. This, that one is really cute for you. I don't even know where we are. We're still in Tennessee somewhere. We stopped at Food City because they have a Starbucks and, and they have plants outside. So I'm gonna look at the plants. There's fiddle. I don't know how much they are. It doesn't say. But they look good. Oh, uh, $21.99 for... We're in Dandridge, Tennessee. Sure. Shiflera. Yeah. Some cordyline. Some fern. I don't know what these are. Annual flowers. Are these sunflowers? Pretty, they look like it, yeah. And some, they have a lot of citronella here. I guess you need it. <laughs> Corn plant. So, um, we're going to, what is today even? Friday? No. Um, oh today my god, today's Tuesday. Tuesday, July 13th. Tuesday July the 13th. 13th. I think that's why I thought it was Friday. 
Anyway, Tuesday? we're going, no, the 13th. Oh, the 13th. We're going to see my best friend, Becca, and her husband and their baby. They live in South Carolina, so I picked up um, a plant for her. It's cute. A little in the nook in this cute little pot. And then, um, here, you should hold this. And then I wanted to um, open another burrito. That's right, we're doing the burrito thing. Yeah, can you see it? <laughs> this one's called Mango. And I'm excited. Oh my God, <laughs> look at how cute. With the one eye. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, it's a burrito. <laughs> I love it. Well, you need to she might be baby. my favorite one with the one eye in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna hit the road now. But we will most likely stop and see more plants at some point in time before Sorry. we get back <laughs> to New York, Connecticut area. So yeah. yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Where are we? In Delaware? Okay. I believe you. Yeah. We're somewhere in the continental United States. That's super helpful. <laughs> it is outdoor. I do love me some echinacea though. Mm -hmm. Some hydrangeas and plants. Not very many plants. Oh, this one's pretty. The flowers are nice, isn't it? I guess I'm into African violets now. <laughs> oh my God, look at these, they're so cute. Do you need a Fatone, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Some. nice. I like the pot.
but it's fine. No, like literally my hair is everywhere. I like a mess. Yeah, I do. I'm mm -hmm. like sweating. Mm -hmm. It's fine. So <laughs> we're in Delaware. Mm -hmm. We established that. We just looked at the plants in the Lowe's somewhere in Delaware. I have no idea where, but we're heading back home and I just wanted to end this vlog here because I feel like it's already really, really long. So I'm ending this vlog here because it's really, really long and I need time to edit it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. Go check his channel out if you feel like it. You don't have to. It's not terrible. I'm on there too. <laughs> it's less terrible because you're there. Lies. Mm. So yeah, that's it. Um, leave, uh, what kind of emoji should they leave? You always put me on the spot like this. No, I, I don't know. Think, leave a... A strawberry. Sloth? A mango. A mango. A mango. Oh, a mango. In honor of mango. Is there a mango emoji? I think so. Some fruit. Leave fruit. Tropical fruit. Some kind of fruit. Look at my hair. What is it doing? It oh, that's because this piece is supposed to go on that side. <laughs> I need to wash my hair. It's fine. I'm going to go home to my cat and hope that all my plants are still alive. <laughs> Keep our I love you, close. fam. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Why do you always Because you were always saying tweets. No, I always say tweets.